today's lesson is on solving two-step inequalities. Um, so go ahead and make sure you copy down the steps for it. Um, just like our equation two-step problems, we're going to be adding or subtracting first, and then we're going to go ahead and um, multiply or divide after that. The one thing we do have to remember about when we multiply and divide is that do we have a negative number? Because if we do, then we're going to go have to make sure we flip our inequality. So the first one we have y divided by 2 is minus 6 is greater than 1. So I'm going to go ahead and box my variable. Turn my line down. I have plus 6 on both sides. So I end up with y over 2. And 1 plus 6 is 7. I'm going to go ahead and do the opposite of dividing. So I multiply by 2 on both sides. And end up with y is greater than 14. Number two, negative m over three plus eight is less than or equal to five. Go ahead and box my variable. Draw my line down. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and subtract eight for both sides. Okay. Now when I bring down my m divided by three with that negative symbol, I'm gonna go ahead and attach that negative symbol to the three. Because remember that negative symbol can go with the m, can go in the middle where it is, or it can go with the three. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the number. That way I don't have a negative variable. So m divided by negative 3. And then I have 5 minus 8. Add the opposite, and we go ahead and get negative 3. All right, now I need to go ahead and multiply by negative 3. And I am multiplying by a negative number. So I'm going to make sure I flip it. Okay. And over here I'm multiplying by negative 3 as well. So I end up with m. And instead of less than or equal to, it is now going to be greater than or equal to 9. Number 3. 4y minus 5 is less than 11. I'm going to go ahead and add 5. First I've got to box my variable and draw my line. So I add 5 to both sides. And I end up with 4y is 16. Divide by 4 on both sides. And I get y is less than 4. Number four, negative three x plus five is greater than or equal to negative four. Then box my variable, draw my line, subtract five on both sides because it's add five. And put negative three x, and I add the opposite. So I have negative four plus negative five is negative nine. I'm gonna go ahead and divide by negative three to both sides. And again, it is a multiplying or dividing by a negative. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I flip inequality. So I end up with x instead of greater than or equal to, it's going to be less than or equal to 3. Negative 9 divided by negative 3 is 3. So there's our four problems right there for you. I want you to go ahead and pause the video, work on these five problems, and then once you've tried the five problems, then you may go ahead and watch the video to see how you did. Here's our answers for your five problems. Okay. So the first one we have is um, 7s plus 14 is greater than negative 35. Um, so we're going to go ahead and subtract my 14, giving me negative 49. Divide by 7, and my s is greater than negative 7. Number two, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 12 first. Then I'm going to go ahead and bring down my y divided by negative 8. And I have to multiply by negative 8 on both sides, so I need to make sure I flip my inequality. So it's no longer greater than, and now turns to y is less than negative 64. Number three, 18n minus 22 is less than or equal to 32. Add 22 to both sides. I'm going to go ahead and divide by 18, and I get n is less than or equal to 3. For number four, we have uh, negative 9 is greater than minus negative 1 third x plus 6. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract Negatives, I'm going to subtract 6 on both sides and end up with negative 15 is equal to um, negative 1 third x. Now I have to go ahead and instead of dividing by negative 1 third, I'm going to go ahead and multiply by the opposite. The, so I'm mul basically multiplying by negative 3. And because I'm multiplying by a negative, I have to make sure I flip my inequality. So I go ahead and get 45 is my answer. When I multiply by negative 3 on both sides, 
And so I have x is greater than 45, or I can say 45 is less than x. So anything above x, anything above 45 is going to be x. Number five is my last one. <coughs> we have a cyclist has seven dollars. At the first stop on the tour, energy bars are a dollar fifteen each, and sport drinks is a dollar seventy-five. What is the greatest number of energy bars the cyclist can buy if he buys one sports drink? So I go ahead and make x my variable of how many sports drinks he can buy. Okay, and they're one fifteen a piece. We know he's going to buy one soft drink, so we need to go ahead or one sports drink, so we can add on that one seventy-five. And then we have this side is going to be less than or equal to $7 because we know he cannot spend over $7. So this side has to be less than. So we subtract 175 on both sides, then divide by 115. And we go ahead and get exactly four bars. So he can get, he can get four bars or he can get less than four bars. So that is his choice. So those are your notes in your sample problems for two-step inequalities.